Hello fellow plant lovers, or maybe you're not a plant lover, whoever you are, welcome. So I'm going away tomorrow, um, except when you're watching this I will already be away, but anyway, I do have a few things that need to be done, and of course I've made a list of everything that I want to do, so let's consult the list. Okay, so firstly I want to water most of my plants, I have roughly just wrote down the plants that I know need watering and I will be watering with my neem solution because I am currently dealing with fungus and ants and then while I'm there I'm going to be cleaning my leaves because I have not done that in ages so that really needs doing um, and then I've just uh, wrote down that I need to repot two of my my new plants actually but um, I already I already did that yesterday, um, I'm sorry I was going to record it but yesterday was hectic, I was in my all in one and I just didn't feel like uh, filming, but I will show you the finished result. So these are two of my new plants that, um, I'm so sorry, please ignore the state of my shelf, <laughs> I will clean that like when I get back, but um, yeah these are two of my new plants that I actually unboxed. Um, Wednesday just gone. I'm absolutely in love with these plants. I'm actually really nervous about leaving them um, Just because if anything happens, I'm not like here to to fix it and I can't do anything About it and because these are so rare and expensive like I'm not gonna be able to get any more but Yeah, it'll be okay <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start watering all of my plants now. I mean, I do just want to check my plants anyway, you know, just for like new growth, pests, stuff like that. And you guys can come along with me. And I'll also be showing you how I make my leaf cleaning solution using neem oil. So, shall be good. Okay, let's get into this. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I've actually already got my neem oil solution in here, already made. I'm just gonna pour this into my watering can. Oh, that stinks. A few of these plants, I do want to give a big soak through. Um, because a couple of my plants I literally water and then the next day they're just dried out so um, yeah a couple of these plants I really just want to make sure they are really uh, well watered okay can I just show you my new little growth on my dragon scale Look at this, like how far it's grown from when I did my house plant tour video. Like that was all the way down here. I know, it's, it's up there. <gasps> I'm so excited. Might as well just give this a tiny little water as well. This dries out like crazy, so. By the way, just look at this new growth that I'm gonna get. Like this is still a new leaf. This is still uncurling and I've already got new growth. How crazy is that? Okay, this one doesn't need watering, but let's just admire this new leaf on my very close one. I am completely obsessed with this plant. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss just coming in here and like checking on her and just <laughs> admiring this plant. Literally, I do that like five times a day, seriously. Look at this new leaf. Uh, I'm absolutely in love. Okay, now for my peace lily, because I know that she is going to be like looking like she's dying when I come home. 
So, need to make sure she's a happy queen. Okay, that is it. That's all the plants that need to be watered on my shelf. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my winter sale now. I do actually want to water my aloe vera for like the first time in six months or or more um but i can explain why because okay so i got that plant like like three three years ago okay and i must have repotted her like one and a half or two years ago um and like i didn't have perlite back then i didn't even know what perlite was so obviously any time that i water her she just she takes ages to, to dry out, but I mean, as you can see, she's, she's thriving, always putting out new growth. Oh my word, she's massive. No, but seriously, I need to repot this. Oh. Ow. I mean, she doesn't really look root bound, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Oh, it has got perlite in. Oh, not a lot though. Okay, well anyway, I'm gonna water this today. <laughs> Hello there everyone. Um, so it's now half seven and yeah, um, I'm really sorry. We went out for dinner and it's now late. So what you've seen so far is literally all I've done, but I still would like to clean at least some of my plant, my plant sleeve. I look a mess. <laughs> Um, just maybe the, the big plants um, that are quite bad. Hold on, I'm being called. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, that's really all I'm going to be doing for the rest of this video. Sorry, I'm just trying to find something. Um, just can you hear those fireworks? Um, yeah, I just want to clean my leaves. I will show you. Um, how I do the leaf clean. Sorry, it's like really just everything is just because we're going away tomorrow, so it's just a bit, a little bit chaotic. <laughs> but everything's fine. Okay, so I've just boiled the kettle halfway through, so I can um, do like half hot and half cold, so I can fully dissolve the neem and fairy liquid. Um, so this is a one liter jug, and um, yeah, I've just got my measuring spoon here, and then obviously neem and fairy liquid so i'm just gonna fill this uh halfway with water and then just the rest with hot so what i've got um i've got a tea this is a teaspoon right here so i'm gonna do um one and a half teaspoons of neem oil into the water And then half. There you go. Then I'm just gonna do um, maybe just one teaspoon of um, fairy liquid. <sighs> All right, I'm just gonna mix that together and pour it into my spray bottle, and we're done. And just um, you know, spray the leaves and wipe it down with some some sort of cloth or something. Just make sure that the neem and the fairy liquid are fully dissolved. Um, it will um, obviously work better. 
Okay, I've got a cloth and I've got my spray bottle ready. So I'm just gonna go around and spraying um, a few of my plants, like my alocasia, um, monstera and peace lily. I think I'm just gonna do them tonight. 